Three, two, one, go. Hey, what's up guys? So here's how to add an image as a background. Uh, once you have a good sculpt, it is really nice to have some sort of um, some sort of setting for your for your sculpt. So all you do is go here and you see as background it has the color. So here is where you would change the color if you wanted to. So you can do that or you go to reference image, you check that and then you have your background. Uh, this is a background that I made in mid journey. But of course you could put, you know, all different kinds of backgrounds. Um, and they really offer a lot. So there is, a, there is some issues when you add a background. Sometimes you have a little bit of this, uh, these issues around the edges. It's because it's, it's really digitally cropping, you know, around the background, sort of like with cell phones when you do a um, portrait shot. And sometimes it doesn't really do well around the edges. But uh, sometimes you can find a background that doesn't really look that bad. This one I think looks good. But the only thing that you really have to remember is you have to tie your subject in with different colors and things like that. For example, you want to take some of these colors and add it to your character. So you can use your lights. So for example, I have one spotlight and the spotlight is coming in from here. Let's see if we can, if I can show you where it is. So that spotlight is here and it's shining kind of on the back because I, I just want to have that nice um, kind of edge. So I liked having one like right on the edge on the back. And what else is nice? Let me go back to this view. And something else that's really nice is also to have one over here because we have some blue here. We also have some blue here. So I'm going to do uh, similarly. This is a directional light, but it's coming from the other way. So there's a little bit hitting, hitting her right here. So if I turn it. You can see it a little bit better. I think I like this view. And if you also, you notice I'm, I'm turning it so it's off axis, the, the flat plane. That also helps it to bleed into the background. Of course, you want to make sure that you have uh, depth of field. And I don't have it blurred that much because I like the details of the background. But um, I have the plane is a dark color, so it sort of matches the background as well. And then I have this light, which I can't see because I sort of like her turned a little bit so what you can do is just uh, just take your light and you can just adjust it so that it sort of hits where you want it to hit so I just want to give her a sort of glow on one side so I can probably lower the intensity just so there's some light coming on coming in on that side as well And also there's lights from these butterflies. So I'm going to add a point light. So this point light is, let's see where it is. The point light is right here. I don't want it too bright because when it gets too bright, then it, it can sort of, uh, blow out her face a little bit and it'll make it a little bit too bright. So you just want it at a decent level. You just want to have some more of this glow on the fingers and on the side of the face and things like that. But all that is, is very good to sort of bring your character into the scene and just make it look, make it look good. Here's some other views. Oh, this one was a, um, this was actually a photo I took in London. And this is what the whole photo looks like. Only problem is it's a kind of a narrow photo. So it doesn't work too well. Although it would look nice, something like this. And if I was doing this one, I would just make these lights a little bit. I would match them the color of the background. So I'd probably make them a little more like this. And then I'd take the other one and you could keep it that color or you could, you know, you could kind of do like a nice like accent color, like pink, you know, or you could just kind of tie it in and match that, match that nice background color. I'll make this a little bit brighter. Something like that. 
But anyway, uh, hopefully that's a little bit helpful and just bringing photos in. Something that I really, really enjoy doing and uh, it can really add a lot to your photo um, without having to build a whole scene, which I love too. But sometimes it's just nice to have a good background on your, on your images. All right, so keep drawing, keep sculpting, and I will see you all in the next video. Oh, I almost had it perfect. There we go. I'll leave you with her. If you want to learn more, check out my classes on Skillshare. I have 2D classes and 3D classes. Be sure to check me out on social media, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, all Drug Free Dave. As always, keep drawing, keep sculpting, and I'll see you all in the next video. What's up guys, Drug Free Dave here, and welcome to my newest class on Skillshare. We're gonna make a 3D isometric diorama in Nomad Sculpt. So I've always wanted to make one, so I decided to try to make one in Nomad Sculpt, and I think it came out amazingly. So the first thing I wanted to do was teach a class so I can show you guys everything I know. One thing about these scenes is they feel really complicated and they feel really advanced, but it's really just small individual things broken down. So when, you, when you're taking this class, don't think about it as a class to get to the ending. Think about this class as a lot of tiny tutorials all put together and you come up with something amazing at the end. Each class is developing something or, or making a new item. Or we're gonna learn how to decimate and really make our, our models low poly. And when you're doing a scene like this, all of your models, all of your sculpts have to be very small because it's a lot in one space. actually really fun and really easy once you sort of get your formula going and you can figure out how to sculpt but also how to make things efficient and optimized for our scene. So of course by now you know me, you know my teaching style, very relaxed. There's no stress involved. As long as you have some patience and you're willing to sit with me and you want to, you really want to make some beautiful 3D models and 3D sculpts, you're in the right place. All that being said, let's move on to the next video, the class project.